look. We'll start the booth tour off by showing you the new games from Bandai Namco that are making their IAPA 2014 debut. First up is the much anticipated Star Wars Battle Pod. Making its debut to an international audience, Star Wars Battle Pod was clearly the video game to play at the show. Utilizing a dome screen cabinet, the game puts you right into some of the most memorable vehicles in the Star Wars universe. With five missions to choose from, players can relive some of the most memorable battles from the Star Wars movies. Players can pilot an X-Wing and try to destroy the Death Star in the Yavin mission. Fly a snowspeeder in the Battle of Hoth mission. Navigate through the forest moon of Endor on a speeder bike. Fly the iconic Millennium Falcon and try to destroy the reactor core inside the Death Star 2. And for the fifth and most difficult mission, players switch sides and fly Darth Vader's TIE Advance in the mission titled Vader's Revenge. This mission is a brand new storyline created exclusively for Star Wars Battle Pod. After witnessing the destruction of the Death Star, players learn that the super laser is still intact. Flying as Darth Vader, players attempt to fight off the rebel attack to protect the super laser. You even get to chase down Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon. The unique dome screen gives players an almost 180 degree view of the high definition action. A 5.1 surround sound system and force feedback controls make sure you hear and see every explosion. Experience the Star Wars universe like never before with Star Wars Battle Pod. And now we have Lost Land Adventure. This game also uses the unique dome screen system similar to Star Wars Battle Pod. Lost Land Adventure is the first two-player dome screen game and the first shooting game that utilizes a pin system to save progress. That means players can come back at a later time and continue their game by entering their pin. In the game, players join Jack, a treasure hunter, in an expedition into remote locations in search of hidden treasures. The treasures on the map will not be easy to retrieve as many obstacles and creatures stand in the way. Players will have to use quick reflexes to blast away enemies all around the almost 180 degree curved screen. Players will also have to solve puzzles in the game to advance. With four selectable stages, players can choose their own adventure and save their progress with the pin system. Completing all four stages will unlock an additional fifth stage. Upon completion of the game, players are treated to alternate endings based on the jewels and treasures collected throughout the game. This is the new redemption game, Sink the Ship. Players use a joystick to control the helicopter in the game to drop balls onto the ships on the playfield. A simple press of a button will lower the helicopter down so its claws can scoop up some balls. Players will then use the joystick to maneuver the helicopter over the playfield and pressing the button again will open the claw and drop the balls. The playfield has different ships that require a specific number of balls to sink it. If the balls dropped from the helicopter occupy the holes of a ship, that ship has been sunk and the player wins the tickets associated with that particular ship. Special bonuses are offered depending on the number of ships sunk in a single try. Once a ship is sunk, the game resets itself by shooting the balls out of the ships. Sink the Ship, a simple and unique game that is sure to be entertaining for players of all ages. Dead Storm Pirates Special Edition takes the swashbuckling arcade favorite Dead Storm Pirates and adds two brand new stages as well as unlocking the bonus stage found in the original game. Players use both the recoiling gun and mounted steering wheel to shoot enemies and navigate through treacherous water all throughout the game. With seven stages to choose from and a brand new ending, 
players will be playing Deadstorm Pirate Special Edition over and over again. Next up is Super Alpine Racer. This remake of the classic arcade game comes with brand new characters and completely redesigned courses. In collaboration with Raw Thrills, Super Alpine Racer has a vertically mounted 55 inch HD monitor. There are multicolored LEDs infused into the T moldings of the cabinet. The multi pivot platform simulates the movements of a downhill skier. Feel the wind through your hair from the built in air blowers and shoot through the gates to gain an additional boost to speed past your opponents while performing insane tricks in the air. This is Super Alpine Racer. Mario Kart Arcade Grand Prix Deluxe is the next game in the extremely popular racing series. The game has new courses, new game modes, new carts, and new features all in a rainbow LED lit cabinet with a 42 inch HD monitor. The popular Nam Cam feature that places the player's face over the cart has been updated with funny face frames where players can stretch, squeeze, and transform their favorite faces into many hilarious appearances. The game has three game modes, Grand Prix, Versus, and Co-op. In Grand Prix mode, players compete through 40 rounds over five selectable cups. Versus mode offers competitive racing excitement for all players. The new two-person Co-op mode features Fusion Carts. One person drives while the other shoots other computer opponents. With over 20 types of carts that can specifically trigger over 90 types of items, the racing possibilities of Mario Kart Arcade GPTX are endless and players will be coming back to play again and again. This is Dead Heat Riders. This motorcycle racing game borrows the exhilarating racing concept of the original Dead Heat and puts it all into a white knuckle, heart pounding two wheel racer. The game's 42 inch HD graphics pull riders into the race through four painstakingly detailed cities. Equipped with the popular Nam Cam feature, players' faces are placed over the motorcycle for all to see. Bandai Namco's patented software technology analyzes driving styles accurately and mimics registered ghost drivers allowing drivers to race against absent opponents. Every race will be extremely close, so slam the nitrous and blow past your opponents. Pac-Man Battle Royale. This new twist on the classic game is popular with players of all ages. The concept is slightly different from the original Pac-Man. Instead of eating power pellets and ghosts, up to four players in Pac-Man Battle Royale fight it out to be the last Pac-Man standing. Eating a power pellet will power up and double the size of a player's Pac-Man character and gives that player the ability to eat other non-powered up players. Players of the same size simply bounce off each other if they make contact. The ghosts in the game play an important role as they are still constantly pursuing any Pac-Man they see. Feast on your friends with Pac-Man Battle Royale. Pac-Man's Arcade Party with 12 classic games, Pac-Man's Arcade Party brings back memories of the 80s and its simple yet challenging games. Play memorable games like Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, Galaxian, Mappy, Xevious, Bosconian, Pac-Mania, Dragon Spirit, Rally X, Rolling Thunder, and Galaga 88. Pac-Man Chomp Mania is the result of the collaboration between game creators Bandai Namco and Raw Thrills. This video redemption piece brings back the classic Pac-Man game concept but now rewards players with tickets or a gift card. Players acquire points by munching on as many of the familiar pack dots and fruits as they can while being chased by the ghosts Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Grabbing the power pellets and eating the blue ghosts will earn players extra points. If the level is cleared, the player advances to a bonus stage where Pac-Man navigates through an empty maze and tries to enter the ghost house where the Pac-Pot sits. Watch out though as the four ghosts are there chasing Pac-Man. If successful in entering the ghost house, the player will win the Pac-Pot tickets or a gift card depending on the model. 
they will also be treated to a mesmerizing Pac-Man animation. The cabinet is beautifully lit from top to bottom with multicolored LEDs as well as a spectacular LED marquee that scrolls the classic 8-bit Pac-Man animation. Next up is Pac-Man Swirl. This four-player ticket redemption game is a must for any location. The instructions are very simple. Press the button to release the ball and watch it swirl down the brightly lit ramp onto the rotating playfield. The rotating playfield is equipped with several holes of varying ticket values for the ball to fall into. The jackpot holes are located on the perimeter of the playfield. The mesmerizing rainbow LEDs along with chasing ramp lights make this a piece that will draw everyone's attention. Pac-Man Smash This game takes the classic air hockey table to a completely new level. Unlike traditional air hockey where two players play and the game ends when the player reaches, say, five goals, Pac-Man Smash can have up to four players with the teams battling out within a set time limit. The game starts off as a regular air hockey game with a cool automatic puck dispenser where after a goal is scored, the puck automatically releases onto the opposing side of the field. Randomly throughout the game, a bunch of mini pucks are released onto the playfield causing a scoring frenzy. Pucks are flying into the goals left and right as players scramble to knock as many into their opponent's goals as possible. This insanity happens several times throughout the game. Combine the madness of the mini pucks with a game set time limit and you will have players playing over and over again. Pac-Man Basket This classic basketball shooting game has been completely themed with the colors and images of the lovable character complete with the familiar sound effects from the original Pac-Man game. Equipped with several different game modes both adults and children will love playing this game and Pac-Man Basket will surely stand out in any arcade. Goal Line Rush is currently one of Bandai Namco's most popular redemption games in their lineup of redemption equipment. Football fans will love it even more with its gridiron theme. The game consists of a rotating playfield that is filled with footballs of varying ticket values. Pressing the button causes the football player in the game to rush forward and push the footballs into the end zone. If more than one football reaches the end zone, players win the total amount. After the tickets have been dispensed, the football or footballs get punted back onto the playfield ready for the next player to give it a try. And now we have triple turn. Players aim to launch the ball into one of three color specific tubes by pressing the lever. Each tube will direct the ball into a color match rotating gear. The first gear having the lower value tickets, the second gear with medium value tickets, and the final gear having higher value tickets, including the jackpot. Players that land in either the first or second gear will still have a chance at winning the jackpot, as each of the gears have openings for the ball to fall down into the lower gear. There's even a three ball opening that releases three additional balls for a chance to win even more tickets. Triple Turn is a great new game that is a must for any family entertainment center. Ball Spectacular is another great ticket redemption game. Using the pachinko style concept that is very popular in Japan, players of Ball Spectacular release a ball onto a peg-filled playfield. As the ball bounces off the pegs, it can fall through several gates with varying ticket values. If the ball passes through multiple ticket gates, players will win the total ticket amounts. Right at the beginning, players can aim for the five ball gate. If players can skillfully drop the ball through this gate, five additional balls release onto the playfield, increasing the chance to win more tickets. At the bottom of the playfield is the rotating jackpot gate. If a ball is able to pass through this gate, the jackpot bin located at the very top of the cabinet drops dozens upon dozens of balls onto the playfield. The balls cascade down the playfield passing through countless ticket gates. A simple but exciting game, Ball Spectacular will have people playing it and loving it. 
And now it's on to the instant prize redemption machines. Candy Cuts. Candy Cuts is an instant prize redemption machine with a candy themed display. Various large candy pieces are hung from the six prize hooks for players to target. Players simply use the two button controls to maneuver the scissors to try and cut a string that the targeted candy is hanging from. If successful, the prize drops down and the player is able to collect the candy right away. Jelly Bean Jelly Bean is another instant prize redemption game in the Bandai Namco booth. Using the same simple two button controls, players maneuver a plunger over six different prize holes. Players decide which Jelly Bean prize they want to play for and aim to get the plunger into the shape that matches the prize area. If successful, the plunger will pass through the hole and the prize hook will drop the prize down into the bin. This wraps up the Bandai Namco booth tour for IAPA 2014. See you next year. Thanks for watching.